Hello there and good afternoon and welcome to um, my Tuesday Facebook Live. And I've not actually done one of these on, since the 6th of July. So welcome back and if you are viewing today, thank you for um, rejoining me and not giving up on me. Um, I've had a little hiatus of a couple of Tuesdays. Um, but I'm back, I'm at home as you can see and I'm going to be sharing some new goodies with you that will be available from the 3rd of August which I haven't worked out when that is yet that's Tuesday they'll be available from a week today um so I shall turn the camera around oh wow I've got six on already you must have missed me seven Whew. oh let's just get that that looks a bit blurred so let's see what that looks like on the screen. Hang on. Um, I'm there. So, yeah. I don't know why it's blurred. So, let me just see what I can do. Right, that looks all right now. I must have touched something as I've put it in the, in the stand. That looks okay now. Right. That looks better. I can see my grid paper, not blurred. Right, so let's see who is on. Um, hi, Fiona, again. Hi, Maria, again. Hi, Linda. Hi, Anne. Oh, nice to see you on Facebook Live, Anne. Um, okay, so. Hi, Marjorie. How is Whitby? And, right, wowzers. I've got ten watching. That's amazing. Have I frozen? No. I think I just must have frozen on my laptop. Right, okay, so what I'm going to share with you today is a couple of um, things that I've got hopefully to put up. Hopefully I will have them on um, my website tonight. Um, so it, uh, they are my parcel in the posts. And for people who may not know, I will... Ex it's dull at the moment. Yeah, it's been raining a little bit here. Nothing too much. Um what are parcel in the posts so i will use a little bit of time to explain so please indulge me if you already know what they are but it doesn't hurt to be re-educated sometimes um so each month i advertise a parcel in the post usually towards the end of the previous month and early in the actual month and it's 20 pounds and that includes postage if you are local and you can collect, then it's still £20, but I'll put you in a few extra sheets of card if you come in to collect, just to make up the cost that you're not having postage. And what it is, it's a selection of card stock and some papers, all from a suite. There's usually some ribbon involved, you know me, I like my ribbon, um, some kind of gems of some description. Sometimes we have boxes um an extra little bits things that i like to split that you might not usually buy a full pack of um oh hi sandra so i thought what i'd do is i'd share the august parcel in the post with you that are hopefully i keep saying going to be available from tonight and make a couple of cards with them um i've not used them yet but I'll go through everything and they are from this catalogue which is going to go live from next Tuesday and I am hoping to post these out um, tomorrow and Thursday so you'll have them in time for the weekend. If you've ordered from me in the last three months um, then I will be sending you a catalogue out and you'll have them hopefully, as I say, for the weekend to get yourself a little shopping list together. We also have celebration. Um, we've never had a celebration at this time of year before. It's two months, August and September. Hi, Michelle. And that's starting again on Tuesday. So I'm not allowed to go through the celebration brochure yet. But I can hang on. can share the front cover with you so um that's the front cover so if you if you have a sneaky look you can see some of the freebies and what i probably will do is i'll probably do 
a, a separate video to upload to YouTube going through um, some of the free items that you can get. Okay, so the other thing that I need to tell you about Parcel in the Post, um, it is well from Linda, it is. Um, Every Stamping Up Demonstrator's catalogue should be well thumbed. It's 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 part of the job. Um, another thing I need to tell you about Parcel in the Post is from last month, well, July, so I suppose it's this month, I decided that there was just so much nice stuff that it, if I only did one Parcel in the Post per month, we could potentially miss out on things. And some people were wanting Christmas stuff now. So from... July until December, I'm going to be doing two different parcel in the post running alongside each other simultaneously. Um, and I'm very um, original with the names, but there's a festive and the non festive. So, this is the festive one for August. The non festive will be the bloom where you're planted, the plants one. It was going to be the expressions in ink because so many people have asked me for that but the um paper is still on back order at the minute so i've decided to put that off again for another month so i'm going to do the plants one and i can go through that with you i can go show you the papers because i have got some of them here at home but i thought i'd go through with the painted christmas so these are the papers and this is how you would get them this is half a pack and you will get it like this six by 12 inches um and there's a lot of green in these papers they are they are sort of traditional in color because they're green and red and brown but they are and they are foliagey but they are quite trendy and modern as well in design so i hope you can see the designs there okay and what so you get half a pack of those included in the the parcel in the post and then i also have a facebook group for parcel in the post and i'll put card ideas on there and share links to videos from my youtube that i think um either you that either use the papers so to give you some help and advice or um, cards that I think you could make using them. So these are the colours that are going to be included. As I say, a lot of greens, a nice selection for you. You're going to get two sheets of each of this card colour. Early espresso, real red. Oh, Craig will be happy, real red. Soft succulent, evening evergreen, pear pizzazz, garden green and basic white. So there are 14 sheets of coordinating card in there. And then you are going to get two metres of each of this ribbon. Oh, I've got 19 viewing. That's a lot for me for Facebook Live. You must have missed me. Um, This is a gorgeous gold shimmer ribbon. Now, this is actually from um, a suite that's not a Christmas suite, but I thought it would work really nicely. And also we've got this cherry cobbler. It is cherry cobbler isn't it? Yep, cherry cobbler and gold metallic ribbon. And this is a really nice width as well, ribbon. So two metres of each of that. So that's a nice little uh, taster for you. And then you're going to get two of these boxes. Now these come flat packed like this, already with the tape on. This is how good we're getting. You don't even need glue to put these boxes together. And this is how they will um they are food safe let me just check in the catalog i'm sure they are um let me just read you the craft gift boxes and they come with that aperture already cut you can stamp on them they are food safe and it comes with an acetate window and you can put cards in or treats if you want to bake cookies you can put them in um so yeah, you're going to get two of those included in the parcel in the post. You're going to also get some gems and they're called wonderful gems and they are um, like gold. Well, they're like clear with flecks of gold in and red, but I don't have those here, so I can't share those with you. I'm going to get half a pack of those and then as a bonus. Oh, hi, Linda. If, in, if your Facebook page... 
No, it's called, um, I've got a separate group, Fiona, for anybody who's ordered one. I do try and remember to add people to it. It's called Pay Paid and Parcel in the Post. As a bonus, you're going to get two of these gorgeous 6x6 um, Glimmer Speciality, Be Dazzling Speciality Papers. These are going to be a bonus little freebie for you as a thank you from me. These are actually part of one of the... These are one of the celebration items. So I'm going to pop two of those in because, because I'm a nice person. I'm going to pop those in your parcel in the post. So that's the festive one. And these papers actually are part of a suite called Christmas Season. This is a stamp set. There's no stamps included in the parcel in the post. And this is another stamp set um, from it, Christmas to Remember. Of course, Fiona. In fact, I'm going to do it now while you're on. Have I forgot to add you? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I shall do it now. It says you're already a member, Fiona. It says you're already a member, love. So maybe I didn't forget. Maybe, uh, maybe, I mean, it's not an, as as an active group as the um, other group. So maybe it doesn't come up in your feed very much. But it's just told me you're already a member. So I did post in there. Maybe. Um, it just looks like the other group, so it could look like the same group. I did last time I posted in there was the twenty first of July, and I shared a pansy paper card because pansies was one of the um, pansies was one of the parcel in the post. So let's. I'll try find it. Yeah. It's called if you search. It's called the paper hidden parcel in the post, and then we also have. As part of this suite, some nice dies. These are called the seasonal labels, and they do some nice labels. And they also um, cut out the foliage, um, the pine cones, the holly, the ferns, and things like that. So there we go. So let's do a nice card using the papers. And I was going to do um, one of those if I can remember how to do it. One of those um, strippy, um, scrappy, strippy technique type things. Um, so let's see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, let's go for it. So what I've done is I've cut two pieces of white and the half, one's half a centimetre smaller than the other. Yep. I did this, um, a card like this, when we did the old fern coffee and card a good while back, last year, probably last... Um, it was last summer I think okay so I cannot remember the width of these so I'm gonna guess at one and a half let's just let's just go for it yeah I know it's only paper, I can always put some more on, that's what I said. There's no point getting stressed over a few pieces of paper. Right, so 
so wow I've got 20 of you watching now please do say hello particularly if um if you're new oh I spoke too soon 19 <laughs> okay there is soft sea foam included in this one as well which is rather nice seven of these last time. Tummy's rumbling. Always rumbling. Oh, hi from Banger. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Jen. Okay. Wow. Hi from Western Australia. Whereabouts in Western Australia are you, Heather? Because I have actually visited Western Australia. Right, what I'm going to do is um, see if, if I've remembered this right. And if I haven't, it's as I say, it doesn't matter. It's only a little bit of paper. We can always cut some more. Yeah. Oh, I could just maybe do another one. No. I think maybe I needed to cut them at two centimetres. I should have maybe checked the video before. We could even pop them all together without a gap, couldn't we? Anyway, let's cut some more and see. Um, let's cut another one of these. I'm a bit flustered now because I can't get my um, measurements to work. Oh, you're in Perth. I've actually been to Perth. I thought you were going to say Perth. Yeah, I've been to Perth. So let's try them at two. Hi, Catherine. a bit wide too. Oh man. Oh I know why. It's because I've cut the card a lot smaller. I've just realised now. I've done this smaller than I did it last time. Okay, let's leave that over there and let's do another one. And I'll try and remember how. Let's do it at 9.5. Oh my goodness, I'm so out of practice. Yeah, I think I did it like this last time. Oh, Julie, Julie. So basically, ladies and gents watching, I'm basically cutting a load of uh, paper up and trying to see what works. <laughs> right, let's grab the one and a half ones and let's see. I know they're going to be too short, but that's okay because... Oh, that's too we can at least we can see how many we get across how many we need and then I can see if I've got the width right we'll get there if not I've got another idea <laughs> and I'll do this when I'm not live Hmm. 
Right, let's try that then. I think that might work. I think we need eight. Hi Tracy, where are you from please? You don't have to answer that question by the way, but it's nice to know where folks are from. So I'm Jubilee and I run the Paper Haven and I'm just sharing some makes with a new parcel in the post that I've got that I just do, it's for people in the UK. And I'm just making um, a couple of cards, well, if I get to a couple, um, I'm just hoping to share a couple of card ideas with it. Yeah, it's a bit humid here, Fiona. It's it it was starting raining a little while back. Okay, we've got six there, so let's get seven and eight. And hopefully, hopefully, this will work. Hmm. Okay. She says, right. So I'm going to pop that there. So my card piece of white is 9.5 centimetres by 13.8. So it's a centimetre smaller than the card front. Hope that makes sense. And then these strips are one and a half by the 9.5. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving a small gap in between them. hoping it's going to work out. I've not stuck these down yet. I always like to obviously just, um, oh no, yeah, we've, I've messed that up. So that's going to go there. I'm going to have to have a switcheroo here. That's not too bad. I think that will work. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, another Perth lady. Wow. Amazing. Popular in Perth today. My good friend Sarah and Jane are in Perth. Both stamping up peeps. That's how we met. Okay, so what I've done is I'm going to just move those just out of the way. And I'm going to glue the end ones. Just checking that it's not hanging over the edge or anything. Oh, it's already two o'clock and <laughs> I've not even made a card yet. But at least you've seen the papers a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get these two stuck in place and then just 
look again at the spacing. down oh, I've done the um, I've done them in wrong order but you know what there we go we'll have it like that hi Kath I'm on with Christmas, Kath. Christmas in July. Yeah, you're seven hours in front at the minute, I think. Sometimes it goes to eight, I think depending on our time. Right, I've done it, we got there. <laughs> Made a, a card front. Now if you're spacing if you're cutting I mean is off you can turn it over now and see if you need to do any trimming but that's actually there's nothing really hanging over the edge there so we've got a nice little background for using scraps um, and then what we need to do is and I've wasted a piece of card so I need to grab another one Cut this one to 10 by 14.3. Okay, and what should happen now? Putting your heater on, or what should happen now is we have a little border. I don't know if you're going to be able to see very well. We end up with a border, a white one all the way around there, as well as the one in the middle, if you can see that there. So I'm going to glue that together. Okay, dokes. And you can either make a card and have it that way, or you can make one and have it that way. And I'm thinking that a nice bit of this ribbon would look beautiful around it. What do we think? So we can go with the um, cherry cobbler and the gold metallic. Or we could go with just the gold. Oh, I think I like the gold. I think I like the gold. Yes, I'm going for gold. I'm going for gold. Do you remember that program? It was on on a lunchtime in the UK with Henry Kelly. I even remember the theme tune, Going for Gold. I used to love that. Okay, so this is... You're going to get some of this lovely ribbon included in the kit, in the parcel in the post. Oopsie. Wowzers, I'm up to 22 now. I'm blown away with that. Thank you. Ooh, that's a lot for me on a Tuesday afternoon. Okay, so 
Okay, there's zero waste of ribbon there. That's, I must say, it was, it was Henry Kelly, that, yeah. The heat is on, the time is right. That's all you're getting. That was part of the theme tune. I loved it. Right, and now let us, I thought I'll cut out one of the labels dies to go in the middle. And I might just end up making just this one card. Um, oh, now that's a bit big. So what you can do is decide, that's quite a nice size from there. And then at least we still get to see some of the lovely papers. Or, oh, I think I like that one. I think I'll go with that one. And I have my machine here. Now, these seasonal labels fit in the mini machine. Because I checked before um, I started this live. A, because I wanted to know and B, I thought people might ask me. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And run that through. Just had a little idea actually, but... Oh, it's got like, a, I like that. So that's a lovely shape to go there, like that. Yeah. But I just thought it could be nice done in a sea foam, you know. Just die cut. But I will, I'll stick to that because um, we've done it now. They are lovely. Oh, hi, Zana. Thank you. Oh, that's the lovely dye on the floor, Fiona. <laughs> right, so I'm really pleased with that, actually. Um, let's have a look at... I like have a holly jolly Christmas. So this is Christmas to remember. And we've got Merry Christmas, Season's Greetings. Friends like you make this season special. Love and joy come to you and may it last the whole year through. That's lovely. Magic is in the air. May this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And then we've got Merry. And then we've got Tis the Season. Then this is another lovely. And I shared this briefly on... Um, oh, that's going to look nice in there. On Thursday night, this is holly jolly wishes, all different fonts and all different um, Christmas sentiments, which are nice. So, but I think I'm gonna do, have a holly jolly Christmas. Now they are both um, red rubber stamps. And I've realized, oh man, I would have really liked to have done some holly um here you know on the label but i've not got a real red ink pad at home can you believe that i've not got a red ink pad so a bit of a fail there so we'll just have to do um the sentiment for now and i will rectify that when i'm back at work just thought it might be nice with a couple of holly leaves so I always have a practice when it's a new stamp now okay I'm a bit nervous because I can't see through it and I've not put the sticker on the back that's all right that's okay. A 
that can go on there. Actually, ooh, that would look really nice with some of the, oh, yes, some of the red gems that you're going to get included in this would look amazing as holly berries, not holly berries, <laughs> holly berries. Um, so yeah, I'm going to layer that up with some pads. Oh, I know that feeling, Tracy. Really nice um, labels on this, and I think the gold ribbon just looks spot on. And now we need to just decide what colour card base we're going to have. So what I would do, my sort of thought process is, I would go and put that on there and I think, no, that's a bit too dark. No, thank you. So no votes for espresso. Now I'm thinking the red could be quite nice and it makes these bits of red pop. So actually I'm thinking red could be a winner so we'll put red to one side real red um, and then next up we've got soft succulent no I'm not seeing lots of succulent in these parts of these papers so I'm gonna pop this to the other side now this color I've not used as much um, from the new in colors and I'm thinking the evening evergreen does look very nice and I'm thinking I like that, so we'll put that to this side. <laughs> then we've got pear pizzazz. No, that's too much. I think that's too zingy. Too zingy. And then garden green. And I, mm, no, I'm not thinking that with that one. So I am going to go. Oh, hi, Barb. I think I'm going to go Evening Evergreen, actually, to be a bit classy. It's a very classy colour, is Evening Evergreen. And I think I'm only going to have time to do this one card today. But at least if you purchase the Pass and the Post, it'll give you an idea. well Fiona but there's actually not that much showing when you come to it so I'm going to go with this one it's only a little sniff because I thought I was going to have a bigger border initially but then I couldn't make the numbers work for the strips so what I'll do is those um, strips that I cut before I'll do um, I'll try and do another one when, I've, when I'm off air have a nice little Christmas card. Let me move this stuff away. And then you can see it properly without all the background. I do like the gold. It does make a lovely bow. There we go, look does make a nice bow it, I think it needs some little bits of something but I can sort that out um, I just need some a red ink pad here I'm sure I've not got it here I'm sure I didn't think 
think on to bring it home. Um, tasteful card, thank you. Thanks, Marjorie. So that is to today's, I was going to say quick make, but it wasn't that quick. Um, so before I go, because it's nearly, I've nearly done 45 minutes. Before I go, I'll um, talk to you about coffee and card. So the next coffee and cards going to start um, on the 31st of August and it is going to be a festive one. It's going to be a Christmas one and it's going to be the cutest one ever. And this is what you're going to get included in the um, course. It's a five week course in the UK and you'll get the penguin play stamp set, the matching punch and just jade ink pad. Now you can swap this out if you've already got this colour um, I can advise you on other colours that would coordinate and also as a freebie you're going to get a quarter of a pack of the gorgeous penguin uh, papers and the I've put these down to six by six um, but you'll get a quarter of a pack of these and you'll get loads of papers to cut out they really are the cutest. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I've made some cards, um, but these aren't necessarily the ones we're going to make on coffee and card. Um, but this doesn't start till 31st of August, but here's just a few ideas for you with it, with this set. Oops, hang on. This one's my fave, the penguin snowball fight. So yeah, this is available for booking here and I'll just write it in the comments. There we go, I've put a link um, to my booking site and that starts 31st of August and it's for five weeks and we'll be doing lots of fun um, and the punch punches out this shaped penguin but of course it also punches out this stamped one and it's not just for Christmas it's it, you can do birthday cards as well because there's a balloon and presents and things so it's quite versatile quite a versatile little set so um, if you would like to participate in that booking closes on the 2nd of August um, so that I can order the stuff, which is Monday, so I can order the stuff on Tuesday. Um, I can order it after for you, but I can't guarantee you that I will have all the stuff in time for the start of the course. So that's all from me today. If you're watching on replay on YouTube, thank you, because this will be uploaded to YouTube as well, to my channel. And um, thanks... To those of you, I've went, got up to 24, which is fabulous, to see me make this little Christmas card. And watch out for details of the Painted Season parcel in the post that I'll be sharing on the same website that I've just put a link on. Thanks, Heather. Thanks for saying it's cute. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Please take care and I will see you soon. See you on Thursday night for Paper Crafts and Piano. Thank you.